What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Draft 2 Glory. In the last episode, we once again lost in the final for the third consecutive time. Hopefully today we can make it to the final and succeed. We've got an interesting formation to go from, the 4-3-2-1. Apparently a lot of people are telling me it's a really, really strong formation. So let's hope that it's going to be good for us. I'm going to take that Gomez into that midfield as well. And if you guys are enjoying Draft of Glory, you want to drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated and uh, as you saw in the coin balance there just a second ago, I only have like 13,000 coins left after this draft. So hopefully we can pack something real nice. Ooh, Mohamed Salah for the first time ever. Why not? Um, to uh, to bolster our coin balance, it would be good. Oh my God. Yes, please. We've got, I mean, we could take Insigne and get Gomez in there. Links to the striker. Could take Eden Hazard, who's a beast. Could take Sterling. And then a Premier League striker would work. I've got to take Neymar with a hunter. For me, that is just too good to turn down, having Neymar and Salah together. And then we can also go Ander Herrera in here, which will give him soft chem. And do you know what? A Juan Bernat wouldn't go down bad. Marvi's okay. Alfonso Davies is real nice. Hernandez is real nice. That's quite tricky, isn't it? Hernandez, I think with a Guardian, would soft link Gomez. Marvi obviously would soft link um, Herrera. But with an anchor, it's probably a bit slow. Alfonso Davies, he's just so good. I kind of got to take him. So at least we've got that one Spanish midfielder there. Um, we get a second Spanish midfielder with Koke. We get Ilkay Gundogan. We get Rabio and Kadira, of course. They Rabio on a shadow would be okay, but we get no links to Salah, and he only soft links to Gomez. So I am going to take Koke for that Spanish link. May not well be the best in long term because we've got a lot of leagues going on here, a lot of top players. And some more top players coming in as well. We're going to take Gomez for sure. Got to take... No, or do we take Ake with a shadow? No, let's take Gomez. And let's get Allison, And then let's get another Premier League centre-back. Or at the very least, yeah, we've got ourselves a Premier League goalkeeper. And then another Premier League uh, centre-back would be quite nice. Do get one. This team is a bit of a mess. Sergi Gomez would be okay because he strong links Koke. Christensen's going to have to be the one. He obviously strong links a goalkeeper, which is nice. So Liverpool, like Trent, would be really good here. Mukieli's not bad either. Although Mukieli doesn't link to anyone. Well, he would link to Alfonso Davies. We're still going to have to take him. We take Heinrichs here. I don't think we do. I don't really have that many other links. So that's the starting draft, guys. To a man, it's not bad. Salah and Neymar are brilliant. Koke is very good. Gomez is very good. Herrera, good. The back line is, is very good other than Christensen. It's just the chemistry in this draft so far is absolutely shocking. But it only requires one or two players to completely turn it around. Um, and Edison is not a bad one to throw in there. Uh, obviously, better than Schmeichel. Doesn't actually change chemistry for Christensen by not having him strong link. We get our Marvi again. We get Ruben Diaz in there as well. Ruben Diaz, probably better than Christensen. Amavi with a shadow instead of an anchor has to be the one. Gives us a plus six on chemistry, which is great. We now have Alfonso Davies as a good defensive super sub, which is very nice. Ooh, we get our first um, rule breaker card with Dumfries. We don't have any links to him. We're going to have to take wan -Bissaka, which is not a bad shout anyway, because he is very good and he will give us a Big chem boost up to 74 chemistry now. As I said, it won't take much to get the uh, the chem boost. One Premier League midfielder will, again, just change absolutely everything for us. We don't get a Premier League midfielder. We get Fernando, who would softlink Neymar and softlink Koke. Softlinking Neymar would be good enough because it will get him on 10 chemistry. Ramsey doesn't really help too much. Neither does Kadira. Neither does Emre Chan. Christian Eriksen's okay. If I put Christiansen back in, or rather at like the other side, we can get Christian Eriksen and on, on some chemistry. But I think we're going to take Fernando to start just to get Neymar on 10 and get an extra link and an extra bit of chemistry into the team. The next up, we've got Pepe. Promise would be a great sub. Pepe, we could start right centre mid. Off chem, give Salah chem. 
helps with chemistry just in general. Very fast, very good. Um, of course, now getting Fernando out is going to be uh, the problem again uh, and getting Koke on some chemistry. A Premier League striker or a Brazilian striker would be ideal. Adio Mane is not bad. Gareth Bale obviously helpful as well. Eden Hazard is not bad. Gonna have to be Manny with a with a hunter, and we'll pop him there. I think even if we can get a Premier League manager and start him on four chemistry, that will still be all right. Four chemistry and hundred team chem will get him uh, some good links. We basically need to go all Premier League from this point onwards to try and get our chem up. Erlen Mendy and Alex Tellez. Tellez is all right. We lose some chem on Herrera. Let's take him anyway for the time being. No, we can we can do this. We can pop him in there. And then let's pop uh, Fernando in there. I guess there's a 79 chemistry. We still could use a Premier League uh, midfielder. A central-based Premier League midfielder would be ideal. Even if they're bad, we can take Podence to start with as well. Even if they're bad, just to give us that monster chem boost. Not getting it at all. We get Miralem Pjanic. I could put Podence up at left wing. Or even Mane at left wing. I just kind of need Premier League players. And they're just not... I mean, we've got Gareth Bale here. We could put Bale up front on 7 chem. Mane at left wing. Pepe into the centre of the park. But we'd need more Premier League players again. Danich, I guess, isn't worth taking. Alexandro's okay, but we don't really have um, the links to him either. It's just he would be on soft chem. We could put Schmeichel in goal, which would give us some more chemistry as well, because it'll get Christensen to, to 10 chemistry. But then would you prefer Schmeichel or, or not? So I'm going to take Gareth Bale. Which doesn't help massively to start with. Have another Premier League player at all, just the goalkeeper. We could really use a Prem midfielder. And again, we're not going to get it. Get Kieran Gibbs. This is, I guess, a Premier League player. Here. I mean, starting him in centre mid would probably, yeah, it does give us a little bit of chemistry there. Just not what we need and not what we want. Oh my days! Another pre <laughs> another Premier League winger. This draft is a bit of a bit of a mess. Now that we've got Sergio Ramos, though, this actually could be good because now we can link Sergio Ramos and Koke. They would get strong links. We just wouldn't have a left back or a right back for them. There is no point taking Raheem Sterling unless we played him at centre mid instead of Fernando and still everybody would be off chemistry. So he doesn't matter. So let's take Sergio Ramos uh, on the hopes that we get a, a good Spanish right back, which we have. We've also got Kylian Mbappe, which is perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Kylian Mbappe has got to come in. Kylian Mbappe goes up front. Neymar's going to come back into that left wing. That gives us a nice little chem boost. Uh, Pepe can go over on the other side. That gives us a nice little chem boost. Kieran Gibbs can come back off. Wow, Mane actually gives good chemistry there. And get a bit more chemistry. If we use Schmeichel in goal instead of Edison. I just don't think I want to do that. Joe Gomez over here doesn't change anything. There's definitely going to be a way to get a bit more chem here again. Salah's on full chemistry there as well. It's just such a shame. I don't want to use I don't want to use Mane on two chem. It's pointless. Herrera gives us a little bit more chem because he gets the the strong link to Neymar. Shame Koke can't fit in now. Okay, and Ramos. If we just had the left back or right back for Ramos, it would have been perfect. However, we have got a super high rated draft. I don't even think Pepe is like the right guy to have, is he? You know, we can get up to like 93 chemistry if we use Schmeichel over Edison. I just don't want to do it. Marvi. If we use a Marvi. 84 chemistry before it was 90 chemistry 
And again, putting mana in is where the chem comes from. And Koke gives us plus three there now. That's interesting. Koke on three, on four. Not too bad. Is that a better setup is a question. Having a Marvel on seven or Tellers on ten. Tellers on ten is definitely the better option. Which means Fernando coming back in is the better option. Puts us back up to 86. And then putting uh, what was it, Herrera back in. All right, that's the best we're going to get, unfortunately. Um, it's a high-rated draft. It's an 86-rated. It's got 90 chemistry. Um, Salah, Mbappe, Neymar up top. Brilliant. Pepe, Herrera, and Fernando in midfield. Terrible. The back line is extremely good. So we are going to have to make changes in the midfield fairly quickly. Um, we don't really have particularly too many quality midfielders as midfielders. We've got Bale that can come on in. We've got Gomez that can come on in. And uh, I think we'll save Mane as a super sub. We'll probably just use this team until we can't, you know, until I need a change. Um, we've got, it's going to be very interesting to be using the um, the four three two one. I haven't used it really this year much. I think we had one draft where we did use it, but generally speaking, we haven't. So uh, there you go, guys. A bit of a mess of a team in the midfield, but that attack is absolutely sensational. That Kylian Mbappe works well. I should have probably taken Azpilicueta. We could have got Koke, Ramos, and Azpi in there then, and it would have been a lot better. Um, but that is going to be the squad, guys. Let's get in to the action. All right, guys, into game one we go. And we are up against 4-3-1-2. He's got Werner, Ben Yedda, Havertz, Valverde. Very nice. That informed Renato Sanchez, who's extinct. He's got two of the rule breakers in the back line with Ferland Mendy as well. David De Gea and Juan Bissaka at right back. That's a really nice team. Let's hope that uh, we can come out on top here and get ourselves to another final and hope to pick up a win this time. Neymar. Probably from here from Neymar. And that's a pen ref. Yes, let's go. As soon as that slide tackle came in, it was always going to be a penalty. <laughs> let's see what we can do here with Neymar. I'm going to go into the bottom left on this one. He's green timed it. It's bottom left corner. This guy subbed off Werner for Neymar. That's interesting. I could understand subbing off Hazard, sorry, uh, Havertz for uh, for Neymar, but not Werner. Werner's too good. We brought off Bale, sorry, brought on Bale, um, just to give us a little bit more strength in that midfield. Here's Salah though. Oh, uh, yeah, Wamba Saka only got a yellow card for that as well. Now, don't get me wrong, Neymar's definitely like for for me the best player in the game. So I understand bringing him on completely. I just don't understand taking Werner off of all the people that you could have done. Here's Neymar. Good save from the keeper. Bit of a silly shot, but I was hoping for a rebound or maybe another one of those uh, fouls into the penalties. That's nice. That's a nice goal. I couldn't stop that. I, I, I put a couple of tackles in there that the ball just didn't register or, or come back to me, but couldn't stop that one. Nice from Neymar into Salah. That's nice from Salah. All the way in. And there's Neymar. And that's 2-1. That's a lovely goal. Good uh, good running there from Mohamed Salah. Just kept the ball in as well. That's nice. Salah's there. All right, half time. 2-1. This guy's probably had a bit more possession than me. He's very good. He's very good. I've had a little bit more possession than him. He's got 92% pass accuracy. He's only created two chances. One hit the post. One went in. I've created four for myself. Two have gone in. We're going to have to still fight hard in this second half to go through. This might be a first round exit. Um, but we're playing well enough at the moment. We're just going to need to get that third goal. Mbappe is down the, down the line there. Lovely from Mbappe. There's a beautiful ball into Gareth Bale. There's Neymar. And there's Neymar. And that's 3-1. And that's lovely play. Nice from Mbappe. Double nice from Mbappe. That's a pass back to Neymar. That's that should be four goals. That should be that should just be a tap in. Pepe's in the middle there. He's in loads of space here as well. Mbappe. And Pepe. And that's four. Lucky to get the ball back there, but four one is nice. Oh, that's from Mbappe. I might still get there. I will still get there. And that should be five. And that will be game over. 
There's Mbappe. Why has he hit that with his left? That should have been six. All right, he's made it 5-2. I don't think it matters too much now with just five minutes to go left in the game. But we should have been 6-0 up anyway with uh, Kylian Mbappe there. And that's a GG, boys. That guy was very good. 5-2. Uh, for a first-round opponent, that guy was exceptional. For just any level of draft opponent, that was a really tough game. I hope not every game is going to be like that. Otherwise, we might not make it to the final here. Uh, Neymar with four goals there. Pepe with one and assist coming from wan -Bissaka. Salah with two, Mbappe and Bale with the assist as well. Um, but yeah, that was a that was a really tough game. I mean, we controlled the possession, we controlled the chances, we had better pass accuracy, more tackles. It's a deserved victory, but I assure you that was a very very challenging game. Um, and I will see you guys in round two. All right, guys, here we go into the second round. As I say, I just hope that the game is not nearly as difficult as that first round opponent. We are up against a four three one two again. This time with just eighty chemistry, but Rodrigo, Kane, Werner, Ferran Torres, Florenzi, Wijnaldum, and Van der Beek. I mean, his back line's pretty nice. Florenzi's just wildly off chem. His midfield's quite nice. Having Harry Kane even off chem um, is going to be a struggle and a stress because I know that card is lightning in this game. Not necessarily in terms of just pace, but also the way he shoots the ball. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard from a few, uh, few good sources, a few high-level people that he might well be a top-tier player uh, this, this game cycle. You know, um, obviously he doesn't have the skill moves in the weak foot, but in terms of just a clinical finisher... He's right up there. So this guy's got extreme pace up front. Uh, fortunately, we've got a, a fast-ish defense. Um, let's just hope that this guy's not too good defensively himself. And uh, will get us in. Oh, that's got to be an easy ball in there for Pepe. Uh, yeah, get us in into the semifinals. That's nice. That's super nice. That's really nice. Pepe. Oh, he's put that over. Anyone but Pepe, man. Especially on the 4 chem or whatever, whatever it is chemistry he's on. Oh, here we go. We've got the ball there. Salah's... Oh, it's gone to Mbappe. There's Mbappe. Mbappe's hit the hit the bar from about eight yards out. And I had I had problems with Mbappe in the first game as well. Just really poor passing. That ball was, like, launched through for... Uh, for... Um... Oh, he's done me there. Yeah, it, it, that ball was launched through for Salah. And for some reason, it's gone to Mbappe who's hit the post. And then Rodrigo manages to score that. And, and it's a nice finish. You don't begrudge it. it. It's, you know, the stop and turn inside has sold the defender and the finish is nice. But when you see Rodrigo, of course, scoring that goal, you then think, yeah, Kylian Mbappe should 100% be scoring his shot from the edge of the box or even inside the box. I, I couldn't really uh, couldn't really tell you if it was right inside it or not. Here we go. See, now that one was actually for, um, oh my days, that one was actually for Neymar and that one's gone to Salah. So we're in all sorts of problems here with our attackers to try and get goals. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know why we're, we're creating so much trouble for ourselves. Salah's there. Mohamed Salah's there. And that's a lovely goal on the right foot of Salah as well. He's moved his keeper a little bit, which has kind of given the angle for, for the goal. Um, now we're back in at 1-1. Do you know what? I'm going to stay high press on him as well. We're going to give a, a good 20, 30 minutes of this high press and see if we can just pinch the ball off him a couple of times, just like that, and then get some good counters, just like this. And here we go with Mbappe. He is through. He's into the space. Killing. That's a foul, surely. Oh my God, he's got away with that. Mbappe just needs to go down there for the penalty. Nice from Pepe. Nice into Mbappe. Neymar's offside there, isn't he? Yep, that's a beautiful finish as well. I should have just shot with Mbappe. That's a pen, surely. He's just not won the ball there at all. That's two penalties I should have had. First time with a trip on Mbappe. And the second time with a trip on Pepe. And Pepe even went down there. And still no pen was given. There's Pepe through. Here we go. Got Neymar on the far side. That's surely going to be two. That's Neymar. And he's missed that. That is unbelievable that he's missed that. That is not the ball. If you guys watch that back there. That was a, a tap of a pass. Literal tap. Just into the on-running midfielder. And the game's punted it up the field. And now he's actually going to score here with Kane. Yeah, I told... Oh, well, it's Werner. The shooting is ridiculous. This game is ridiculous. I don't know how I'm 2-1 down. This guy has scored his only two attacks. I've missed sitters with Mbappe, with Neymar, and with Pepe. Definitely should have had two penalties. And uh, even though we're creating pl plenty of chances, it's just not working for us right now. There's Salah. 
Oh, God damn. And that'll be half time. We've got a big task on hand here, guys. I just th This guy is so much worse than our first round. Look at that. First round opponent. We had 60% possession. He's had three shots and managed to score two goals from it. It's so sad. I might, I might just have to get Mbappe off. He's just doing nothing. We're going to keep it the same in there for the time being. We're going to bring uh, Gareth Bale on. We're going to bring uh, Alfonso Davies into that back line as well. We've got to take our chances in the second half here. That's a cracking pass that time. That's a pen. There we go. At last. It took four attempts. But we finally got there. And Neymar puts it in the back of the net and it's 2-2. Nothing less than we deserve out of this game. Allen's away. Oh, this, the, the pass. Oh, he's through there with Werner as well now. Thank God for Joe Gomez. Neymar's away. Nice. Nice. Into Salah. Love that. I don't know how he's got away with that again. He's, he's again slid tackled. Caused me to uh, lose possession and lose footing. And no penalty given again. Mbappe's away there. That's a sensational pass as well. Kylian Mbappe. He's moved his keeper. And that's 3-2. That is an absolutely exceptional pass from Pepe there. I didn't know if it would go through. It was a risky pass, but sensational ball through. Nice. There's Neymar. That's four. That's game over. We're going to bring uh, Mane on anyway um, for Salah. Get that pace. Oh, he's quit. There you go. As I say, guys, we made that ridiculously more challenging than it should have been. We got goals from Salah, two from Neymar, one from Mbappe, two assists from Mbappe and two from Pepe. That was going to be one of those frustrating games, man. Like, the guy had four shots the entire game, scored two goals, 40% possession, way less pass accuracy than me, but made it one hell of a challenge. But we did win the game. We are into the semi-final. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, into the semi-final we go. And we are up against 4-5-1. Very interesting. He's got Havertz, De Bruyne, Mane, Shakiri, and Aubameyang. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, who the centre midfielder is. Carl Walker, Joe Gomez, Robertson, Semedo and De Gea. His back line and his front line are fantastic. Shakiri is a bit meh. And uh, his centre mid, I think it's like Bif Bifuma, is it? Or Basuma? Um, you know, his centre mid is a bit meh. His right mid is a bit meh. He's probably waiting for me to pause it to make changes. And I'm not going to. It is Basuma. There you go. Um, so, uh, anyway, into the semi-final. We've come through really comfortably against a solid opponent. And we've struggled our way through against a lesser opponent. But here we are. Let's hope that we can uh, have a more comfortable, relaxed game. Get some nice, easy goals. Salah's away there. No, nope. Salah was away there. Come on now. And, uh, yeah, try and get ourselves into uh, into another final. That's nice to Mbappe. And that's lovely from Kylian Mbappe. And that is 1-0. And this feels like a much, much easier game than uh, than even the last. This guy's obviously paused it to make his subs, which means we're also going to make our subs. We're going to get Bale back on again. And we're going to get uh, Alfonso Davies in for Christensen. Um, and uh, hope that uh, we can get an easy second and third and just put this game to bed nice and easy. That's lovely from Neymar. No, I think that's Salah that's blocked that. It's not. It's a corner. <sighs> can we get the ball onto Gareth Bale's head? Tejas whips it in. Oh, that is a good corner. Ooh, not good enough. There's Neymar away. Here we go. There we go. All right, 2-0. That, that's as easy as it should be as well. Little one-two around the back line and straight into the back of the net. And he's hit the bar for the second time. Keeper, get that. Catch that. No, don't punch that. Come on now. And that is half-time. Guys, we're 2-0 up. Cruising. But also, this guy has created a couple of counters. Fortunately, we're 2 0 up. It really should be easy to get third, three, four, five in this game. He is slide tackling and lunging all over the place. I just got to make my possessions count. Pepe. 
a Salah away. Surely that's another goal. There you go, 3-0. And that'd be, uh, that'd be game over. He'll quit off of that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So we are into another final, guys. Can we win this one? It'll be the first in four and the sixth overall if we can. I will see you guys there. All right, guys, into another draft final. And here we go. We are up against a 4-2-3-1 Messi, Kane, Rashford, Party, Busquets, Nakata, Wambasaka, Edison, Gomez, Robertson, and then Sergi Roberto. That is a phenomenal draft. It really is. I don't have a phenomenal draft. I've, I've got a good attack and a good defense. I do not have a good midfield at all. Um, but let, let, let's play our best. Let's try our best here. Let's see if we can get a couple of uh, easy chances. And we're through straight away with Neymar. He's pulled his keeper, has he? No, he hasn't. Oh, that should be a goal. I've really let myself down there. That's nice from Mbappe. That's a lovely goal. And it's 1-0. That is beautiful stuff. There we go. We're through again. There's Mbappe again. And that's 2-0. This is easy. This is easy. This guy's a terrible defender. That's lovely from Mbappe. Oh! So close. I should have squared it. I know I should have squared it. And Mbappe's in. And Mbappe scores. And it's 3-0 after 19 minutes. There's Mbappe again. Oh, he's missed it. That should be four. I should have squared that as well. That's two extra easy chances I've missed. <laughs> EA, please. Make it more obvious. Make it more obvious. Let's bring our subs in now. Because we are 3-0 up, I do not want to let this one go. We're going to bring Davies in. And do you know what? I'm going to bring Koke in for Fernando. Um, and, and just get a midfielder in the midfield rather than Gareth Bale. And uh, see if we could just see this game out. That's nice from Pepe. That's super nice from Pepe. That's Salah. That's a pen. Yes, thank you very much. This guy's all over the place. Can we time it good? Yes, we can. It's 4-0. Let's go. Okay, I guess that's this guy's game plan. I don't mind it. If he wants to just keep throwing me back, uh, you know, throwing away possession and giving it back to me like that, I'm happy. Another ball down here with Neymar. Got Salah at the far post. There is Salah. Bang. Right foot. 5-0. Game over. That is a draft win and a half. Neymar's there far side. And that's six. And that's six. I don't know why this guy's still carrying on. He's literally not even trying. He's just sprinting in a straight line when it suits him. When he's defending, he's, he's just marking the, the space and not the ball carrier. He's not attempting to tackle me. It's only if I misplace a pass. This has been utter, utter domination. This has been the weirdest draft, guys. Because my first opponent was the hardest by far. My second opponent was the next hardest. And we got a rage quit out of him when we went 4-2 up. My third opponent rage quit. My fourth opponent is 6-0 down at half time. It's got easier as I've gone through the draft. Um, we're 6-0 up. I'm very happy to be back on the winning trail uh, with the draft. Unless we get disconnected here, which would be genuinely devastating. Um, there is no way we're not co coming away with a win here. I don't, I don't care. Like you, you could give me a six-goal advantage against... I would, I would argue any single player in FIFA right now. Give me a 6-0 lead against Tex at halftime and I'm still winning that game, right? Um, so there's no way we lose this game from here. That's lovely from Neymar. That is lovely from Neymar. 7-0, let's go. This guy's literally stopped playing. He, he literally stopped defending there and just stood still. I don't know why you're still in the game. You are never, ever coming back in this game. You're not even... Like, if he was just trying, trying to get better, like learning the game, learning some game mechanics and things like that, okay, I get it. But he's not. He's just giving up. He's finally got one back with Nakata in the 78th minute. Fair play. Fair play. Man, that's eight. You get what you get. Don't get upset. I can pass that is. 
That's lovely. That is that is Mohamed Salah to a T, and it's 9-1, and that is the end of the draft. And as I said before, guys, right, this was the weirdest draft I've had. The first round opponent was very good. And we, like, we were 2-1 up at half time. We end up winning 5-1 because he went all out attack to try and get back into the game. And it it backfired on, on him, right? But he was very good. Our second... Wait, why does Neymar not have a player face? What the hell? Um, our second round opponent was tricky because he was hitting me really well on counters and, and it took us a long time to break him down. Our semi-final opponent quit quite early because we dominated him. Look at that. I mean, I've never, ever, ever had such an easy final in my entire life. And we finally get back on the winning trail with these drafts. I believe that's now six draft wins. I think it's actually from 13 attempts in total, though. I don't think it's from, uh, yeah, from 13 attempts. So not quite the 50% win rate because we did have a draft on stream that wasn't in Draft of Glory where we lost in the second round. Um, but that is now six wins in a row. What a weird draft to be able to win comfortably with. And we get the two rare gold packs and the premium gold pack. It's the worst reward out there. It's the first time uh, this year that we've had this reward, I believe. We get a rare gold player out of the uh, 7.5k. It's a board. Let's go, EA. Come on, man. Maybe our luck's in. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's uh, Zachariah. Now, I don't think he's worth anything at all. Um, but, okay, he's, he's like 4k. That's nice. That's really nice. Sessignon as well. Always nice as an English player from the Bundesliga. Some other uh, consumables there. And Darun, uh, who we'll just list up and try and get rid of. And then two red gold packs. So we will make profit now, guys, no matter what. That that 4K there with the match coins on top of that, everything else aside, we're definitely going to make some profit. We don't get a walkout. We do get another board. It's an inform. Let's go. Big profit now. It's, a, it's Olmo, another Bundesliga player. That is really nice. Olmo inform is fantastic. Ooh, Sirigu in there as well. Yeah, it's 10k for Olmo. Sirigu's like only 3k for an 84. And Mikel Antonio as well. Also up at like... No, he's 1k. Never mind. Just kidding. Um, Real Madrid away kit. Yeah, it's worth something. Better than nothing. Absolutely. And then the Cian fireworks will keep. And last but not least. Hey, I expect nothing here because we got a good player out of pack one. A good player out of pack two. And no board. Yeah, I expect nothing. I, like, you get what you get. And you don't get upset. We get Zahavi Jr. The Villa out. Oh, the Spurs Stadium theme. That might be a seller. We'll try and list that for 5k and just see if it goes. We get Madison in there as well. Um, but as far as Draft to Glory goes, guys, that is an acceptable return. We have made profit. Lots of profit. What? Old rare club item. Where the hell did that come from? Anyway, that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.